Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Chris here. I just wanted to give you guys an update. I know some of you all are freaking out a little bit, but I wanted to show you what I had last night. So I actually drew this box last night of where I anticipated it to go and also good buy zones. And as you can see, we crept down here to about $160 or so before being bought back up. And if you look at this candle here, this is actually a hammer. And a lot of the times that can show a reversal or strength. So what I wanted to show you guys here, let me get this out of the way. So it did actually go into that buy zone. So if anyone bought around 160, you can see it's around 180 right now. So let me get this out of the way and let's zoom in on this candle here a little bit. Okay. So guys, as you can see, that's the hammer right there. So what happened was the bears tried to push it down and the bulls bought it back up. Okay, so that's a very good sign right there. A lot of times that will mean a reversal. But I'm not going to call it a reversal right now because cryptocurrency is so different than any other market. We could have some bad news in the next 10 minutes and we could drop down to $140. That's just how it is. But looking at the chart here, you can see that hammer candle, which obviously bears tried to push it down and it got bought back up. So let's take a look at the four hour here, see what's going on. And you can also see some strong green candles right here as well. So hopefully, guys, maybe we can get out of this. I'm not going to call it yet, though. I would still have your buy zones around that 160 mark. I think that'd be a really good spot. And let's pull here. Let's go back to our one day. And we're going to kind of pull these fib levels for you so you guys can see what's going on. See where we're landing. Okay. And guys, what you can see, how it broke down to this 618 here and what happened it got bought back up almost to the 50 so you know we could travel in this channel for a while or we could bounce up back into this channel between the 50 and the 382 so it's kind of all up in the air right now guys what's going to happen with the news what bitcoin's going to do all that type of stuff like i said litecoin's starting to get a brain of its own but we're still going to follow Bitcoin and with the guy from Mt. Gox who keeps dumping all these Bitcoins at crucial times, that's giving us a lot of trouble right now. I was listening or reading yesterday and they said that he still has 180,000 Bitcoins. So that's kind of a frightening thing because we just don't know when he's going to dump them. You know, So I just wanted you guys to pay attention to that. He's a huge whale, so do a little reading into that. And another thing I was going to tell you guys, why stop losses scare me. If you're a long-term investor – in Litecoin or any of these cryptocurrencies, it kind of makes me nervous to set any type of stop loss. I would rather just hold, and my reason for that, I'm going to show you this over here. So guys, on this day when we went from $305, in one day we went all the way down to $150, $148. So think if you guys had a stop loss here at $155, 160 somewhere in here, and all of a sudden it was triggered, and then the price ended up closing here at $250 and you just sold all yours for 150 so that's what kind of scares me because it seems like these big whales can come down all the way here push everyone out and then buy it right back up and you can tell by that wick right there so I want you guys to be very careful with your stop losses because you could put them in being fearful that okay so let's say we put a stop loss here at $160 and it goes to $158 and then all of a sudden we're back up to $180 and you were sold out at $160 because you had the anticipation we were going back down to $120. So that's where it gets a little bit troublesome and I just wanted to check the MACD for you guys real quick here. See what's cooking. Okay, and guys, you can clearly see that we broke down, and that's when we had that big sell-off. Histograms in the negative here. I'm hoping that we can start tailing back this way. So that's the things that I'm looking at, guys. I just wanted to bring that to you. Hold strong, hold steady, and if you have some extra money, that 160 zone, that is a great buy zone right around in here, that 165 or so. So God bless you all. Take care.